we talk about African liberation and elections and whether the ANC or the DE would win these seats. <laughs> That's how we organize our politics. In Bolivia, we have a campaign about the rights of Mother Earth. They want to deal with those who violate Mother Earth. And you know who violate Mother Earth? It's not the ordinary people. It is the capitalist class. Poor countries should receive compensation. I believe we should not talk about compensation. We have to overthrow the system. Because we can only deal with climate change through system change. Climate change requires Ubuntu. Let me repeat. Climate change requires Ubuntu. <clears throat> what is the meaning of Ubuntu? Ubuntu is a philosophy that unites human beings with nature and unites human beings with other human beings. It's a philosophy which is linked to the ecological, what we call the ecosystem. So the Ubuntu that we're speaking about is the Ubuntu that is freeing human energy. There's a computer company that now has an Ubuntu software. <laughs> Everyone must have access to this. Free energy, yes. Free software. Ubuntu philosophically ascribes to us the need for us to find our humanity. Let me repeat it. Ubuntu ascribes for us the need to find our humanity. Our humanity. So when a capitalist in a political party in any part of Africa stand up and say they're supporting Ubuntu and they sit down with criminals, we must say, no, that's not the Ubuntu we support. Our Ubuntu is different from your Ubuntu. <laughs> You're actually manipulating something that you know people want. And we are going to set ourselves and we say, no, we will not come to your party. You can come to our funeral, but we not, won't come to your party. Because the Ubuntu that we want is an Ubuntu that elevates our humanity and releases us to be united as human beings. The Ubuntu that we want, the Ubuntu that we are struggling for, is an Ubuntu to accelerate the freedom of the peoples in Africa so people can have the fundamental freedom, which is the freedom to breathe. Of course, robots will not breathe, so they don't have to worry about robots. <laughs> And they want to turn us into robots. But the fundamental freedom we want in Africa without borders is the freedom to breathe. Freedom to think and to transform ourselves. That we have four things we are fighting for in the Pan-African movement. Let me spell them out to you. We want life. We want health. We want peace. And we want a clean environment. Should I repeat them? You got them, yes? Thank you, my Tonight, we will be honoring some of them and some of the other ones who have also kept the spirit. I have a pleasure of working with Trini for many, many years, and I know what I'm saying is true. Um, there's a plan for uh, 20. <laughs> Last but not at least, it's Nolu Babalo Kwaiman from the Western Cape. Uh, Nolu Babalo is a former Peace Club member from um, Tembeli Senior Secondary School in Kaelicha. Uh, she currently stud studies, she's a third year student for, in, in his oral, for a Bachelor of Arts degree in the University of Western Cape, a major in psychology and in communication. Also the, form, the, the founder of the Tertiary Peace Forum in the University of Western Cape that was launched that that was in March 28 this year um, is the president of the Teacher Peace Forum in the Western Cape then lastly it's 
it's um, Moses Mampaka. Moses Mampaka is also the old, old peace activist. Uh, she's from Limpopo. Uh, it's, all, it's the pay peace human rights and anti racism educator in Manelezi. Uh, he's also he's currently serving as the head of English at Manelezi Secondary High School. And uh, he attained a Bachelor of Arts degree at the University of the North. Acquired a Bachelor of <coughs> Education degree specializing in school management and an LLP at the University of South Africa. He joined Umtapo family way, way back. Can't even recall the year. Uh, he's involved in the community or in the community development as a chairperson of Sanko in Babele. In the